Well hello everyone and a huge howdy partner as I welcome you all back to our Wild West town of Dirtwater. That's right guys it's been a short while but we're back for another Wild West tutorial. If you want to see the rest of the tutorials for the town check them out on the channel there's a big playlist over there for you guys but today we're going to be building something straight into our town. That's right something brand new we've done tutorials on everything else in the town so far so today I've cleared out some space just behind our western house and today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be building a good old fashioned Wild West Undertakers. Now I notice our town has a graveyard but not a funeral directors and a few people have been suggesting this build so that's what we're going to do today. So just over here behind our Wild West house I've marked out an area that's uh, for our undertakers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a new format for this today's video see how it goes and I'm going to show you a little time lapse of the build first because usually the build already exists it doesn't in this case and then once I've shown you the time lapse we'll go through block by block uh, like our usual tutorials so let me know what you think down below of this format and if you'd like to see it in the future builds and before we start I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently you're all amazing so if you haven't already press that subscribe button and jo join the whale watching community <laughs> So let's have a little look at the materials that we're going to need for today's build. We're going to need some spruce planks, some stripped spruce logs, some dark oak planks, some stripped dark oak, some dark oak stairs, some dark oak slabs, some spruce fences, some dark oak doors, spruce signs, spruce and dark oak trap doors, some grey glass panes and some lanterns. Let's get cracking. To build our undertakers we're going to need a 7x9 block area so make sure you have enough space before you start. So firstly, as we usually do, we're going to fill in our base with some dark oak planks. You should know by now if you've watched the series that this is a traditional Wild West feature and something you'll find on most western builds. So get that filled in for a nice sturdy wooden base. Next we're going to knock out a few blocks from the base, one on each side, three blocks in from the front, and then one on each of the back two corners like so. Now, in the rear two gaps, we're going to build a seven block column high of stripped dark oak logs, and in the front two gaps we're going to do the same, but this time nine blocks high. Now, we're just going to grab our spruce planks and we're going to build the back and the two side walls up to the same height as the rear two columns. This build isn't too dissimilar from our western house next door, however we're going to add a few different features. Once the back three walls are built, we can now build the front wall, but this time it's the same height as the front two columns, like so. Then add a three extra blocks of spruce planks on the back wall, like so. Now onto the roof. Add a trim of dark oak slabs along the front wall and the two side walls as well, like so. And then, either side of our three spruce planks on the back, add a dark oak stair. Now, we're going to form a shallow sloping roof by adding rows of dark oak slabs every half block to form a peak in the middle, creating a small gable roof. Now, back round the front using some more dark oak slabs, extend the front row out by another row of slabs, and then add a dark oak oak upside downstairs on either end and then one in the middle like so. Next we're going to add three dark oak steps to the front of the porch for a way up and then add two spruce fence posts on each of the front two corners. Add a dark oak plank on top of each one and then fill in the space between them with some dark oak slabs to form a balcony. Now we're going to add another spruce fence post on top of each corner and one in the middle as well and then fill in the gaps with some spruce gates or if you want just use fence posts all the way around if you fancy it. It's completely up to you. Now we're going to add some holes in the front wall upstairs and down so we can add our dark oak doors and our grey glass panes. You can add these wherever you think looks best. Now just before we move on to the outdoor coffin workshop on the side, we're going to texture up the main building with our stri uh, stripped spruce logs and some spruce signs. Just randomly scatter these around the walls of the build to make it look old and battered, giving our undertakers more history and story to it. There's no right or way wrong way to do this, just go wild, just, just not too wild. 
Now on the back wall we're just going to add another double dark oak door with a dark oak step onto it. This is just so our undertaker can take his dead bodies up through the back door and he doesn't have to parade them around the streets for everyone to see. And then we're just going to add a little canopy with some upside down stairs and uh, some spruce trap doors above it. Next grab some more dark oak slabs and place a row on the fifth block up on the right hand side wall of our building. Add some upside down stairs underneath as supports and then add another two rows dropping down half a slab each time and then finally add a row of dark oak trap doors on the lowest part and this will be the outdoor coffin workshop. Then for some supports just add three spruce fence posts underneath each corner of our workshop roof. Now I'm just going to add one more dark oak door leading out into our workshop and then we're going to add some external details. We'll start by adding some texture to the floor with some granite and some dirt and uh, making a path towards the, uh, the main street of our wild west town. Then once we've churned up the ground a bit we can start adding some more details like hitching posts, barrels, chests and lanterns. Giving the place a bit more life. <laughs> Now to make our coffins we're going to add a white bed and just surround it with some spruce trap doors like so. Then we'll add a couple more dotted around some standing up so it looks like they've just been made and ready for our poor unfortunate cowboys to, to come along to be put inside them unfortunately. We'll add a few more details and I've added a few gravestones that our undertaker might make and sell. These are really easy to make just using some various stone blocks. Just outside of our undertakers we're going to build a small wagon which can carry coffins and bodies to and from the graveyard so we're just going to use some oak trap doors for wheels, some dark oak slabs and some spruce trap doors. We're going to add some chests to act as coffins and attach some horses to the front of our wagon using leads so we can have our wagon pulled around the place. <laughs> For our interior downstairs we're just going to make a little body preparation area using some stone slabs and then add a few more coffins and uh, a desk for our uh, undertaker to keep all of his, uh, his documents and his, his records and uh, just add some lanterns and a few extra little details. Now upstairs we're just going to create a small living area for our undertaker just by adding a double bed, some shelving and some bookcases and, a, and some nice lanterns and I think you'll agree apart from the fact that he keeps um, dead bodies just under the floor of his bedroom it looks quite, uh, quite cosy. <laughs> And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, our Wild West Undertakers with Coffin Shop is complete. I think you'll agree that it fits beautifully into our dirt, uh, town of Dirtwater and as I said in the previous video uh, we might do a couple more builds here in the Wild West town um, so give me some ideas for some more stuff, I've had a lot of good ideas so far but I think we're going to start moving on to some, some other projects as well and I think I'm leaning towards like a snowy viking sort of Nordic uh, village up in the mountains somewhere so let me know what you think of that as well. Um, I'd like to say a big, big thank you to everyone uh, for watching and you're all amazing and your support is still hard for me to believe um, and take in, it just blows me away, it really is amazing. So press that subscribe button if you haven't already, um, I'm really sorry about how long this video uh, took to get out, I've been really busy recently but um, uh, until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video and uh, take care, tatty, bye. <laughs>